everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the event ID 642 e sent error on your Windows 10 computer. This is that the database format feature cannot be issued due to the current database format, and it's something that's controlled by the parameter. So, it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in CMD, best results should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space and then forward slash CNL. CNL should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so you can see it did not find anything, but another thing we can try here would be to run a check disk scan. So type in chk dsk followed by a space forward slash f and then another space forward slash r. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this. So you will need to restart your computer because the volume is used by another process, which you would like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts. Tap the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter. So now save and close out of any open programs and applications on your computer. Close out of here and you want to go ahead and restart your computer. Now, you do not want to tap any key on your keyboard, however, I'm not going to run the scan, so I'm just going to tap a random key on my keyboard, but again, you do not want to do that. You want to actually let it scan. The issue is it could take anywhere between 20 minutes and an hour plus, so I don't want to bore you guys through that, but just generally just follow along with it. It doesn't require any action at that point, and it will just be a completely automated process from there. So don't tap any keys, I just wanted to get you to that screen, just make sure you don't tap anything. But other than that, that should be about it guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.